The beautiful game, football. Such a massive part of so many people's lives. Whether it's watching your favourite team play over the weekend or getting involved and playing yourself. But just how much goes on behind the scenes to make our beautiful game so beautiful? I'm here at the Hampshire FA to find out. The Hampshire Football Association oversee all things football related in the county and are constantly trying to improve a wide range of issues in the sport. The headquarters, based in Basingstoke, are home to 25 Hampshire FA members that are all committed to improving the level of football in the local area and making it as enjoyable a game as it can be. Between 2011 and 2015, the FA claims to have introduced 5,000 new youth teams to the sport. It is also believed that 40,000 more girls have started playing football regularly in the last two years. Disability participation has also risen significantly and there are now 425,000 qualified coaches in England, of which 35,000 are women. There has also been more respect shown towards referees in England since 2008. During my day inside the Hampshire FA, I got the chance to speak to a number of staff members that are working every day to improve different aspects of the football community in the local area. Andrew Bailey, Referee Development Officer, told me how the Hampshire FA look after referees in the local area and what his particular role entails. The three main areas uh, are the recruitment of referees, retention and then the development of those referees once we've got them. Yeah. I focus more on the re recruitment side of it uh, at the moment in terms of getting people onto courses uh, after they've expressed an interest in becoming a referee. Being a referee can be an extremely challenging job. So much of the game rests on their decisions and this can see them coming for a large amount of criticism from both players and spectators. Senior Operations Administrator Gary Pratt told me about some of the ways they're looking to protect referees and ensure that the main focus of the game is on the players and the match itself. We've introduced respect stewards within youth games, so um, a member of the club will be uh, designated as a respect steward, they'll be in high visibility jackets and they'll be there to assist if there's any problems and to ensure that spectators on, or the coaches on the touchline um, are actually behaving in the correct manner. Another thing that we've introduced is something called Silent Weekend. Um, we're very proud of this, this is something we introduced last year and we've just held our second one and that's where the players are allowed to play football in silence, they can just encourage each other, they can listen to each other's teamwork, their communication. The Hampshire FA also hold a range of coaching courses for individuals that are looking to get into coaching at any level. The FA will be investing heavily in coaching over the next three years, with a particular emphasis on female participation. Lisa Savage is one of the affiliate tutors at the Hampshire FA. What would you say is the most important thing you do in your role at the Hampshire FA? I think all of my roles are very important, so as a tutor, I'm trying to have a positive impact on new coaches, coaches that want to become new coaches. Um, also in terms of the female mentoring programme, trying to encourage more female participation, more female coaches, more qualified female coaches. Um, and also with the grassroots clubs as well in the mentoring role, having a positive impact on them. Altogether, there are 29 County Cup competitions played in Hampshire, the fifth largest county in the UK. These competitions allow people of all ages to play competitive football on a regular basis. 1,500 teams already take part in these, with that number set to increase. I organise all 29 of the County Cups uh, and their finals. Um, we have a different range from senior football right down to under 12s in the youth and every final is um, a professional experience for the teams involved, whether that's pre-match, during the match, half-time and full-time for their presentation. We use clubs um, right across the spectrum from semi-professional here at Winklebury at our home or we use um, for our senior final we use St Mary's at Southampton Football Club so we have the overall match day experience to provide. The Hampshire FA is always looking to increase participation within football in the county. Nowadays there's a big focus on women's football and disability teams. Chris Smith is the man tasked with getting more people involved in football in the local area. What is your role at the Hampshire FA and could you sort of briefly describe what it entails? Sure, so my role is a football development manager with a focus on adult football, okay. um, which means I have strategic oversight for all development for adult football, so that's male, female and disability as well. 
Part of Chris's role is to ensure that football participation is constantly improving amongst different age and gender groups. Some areas may need more attention than others, but it's important for the game to be developing at all levels. I mean, you can essentially split it down in terms of participation into, the, into different areas in terms um, of like adult male, female and disability being sort of the clear areas that require the most focus. Um, youth football is, is still thriving. There is a drop off as you go through the ages when you get to around 14, it does tend to drop off there and that's where it then has that impact on adult football in terms of those players aren't necessarily coming all the way through. Um, but certainly at the early stages of youth football, it's still very, very popular and requires perhaps less focus, but we won't obviously ignore it, still continue to support it and help to deliver it. But it, the other areas are the areas that require a bit more focus. So at this time of year, with the football season in full flow, there's always something going on at the Hampshire FA. The feast of football at this time of year just would not be possible without the work that these staff do. And the next few years will be getting even busier for them, with plenty of investments and improvements to football in Hampshire set to be made. <laughs>